Hello everyone, and welcome to JAM Academy. In this problem, a particle of mass one kilogram accelerates from rest. It's important you keep that in mind. Accelerates from rest at the origin by a force given by x bracket three plus two x squared newtons. We are asked to determine the velocity of the particle as a function of position. Now, they are a couple of methods that I can think of that you can solve this problem, but the easiest of which I can think of is to use the work kinetic energy theorem, which essentially states that the network done on a single particle system is equal to the change in its kinetic energy. Let me say that again, the network done on a single particle system is equal to the change in its kinetic energy. So the total work done is equal to a change in the kinetic energy of the particle, which is just going to be equal to the integral. We're integrating from zero to x, f, cosine theta, or f dx, now, the particle accelerates in the direction of the force. So cosine theta is just going to be equal to 1. So this will be equal to the integral from 0 to x. Um, 3x plus 2x cubed. All multiplied by dx. This would mean that w total is equal to... Um, 3x squared over 2 plus 2x raised to the power 4 over 4 from 0 to x. Now, if we simplify, this will give us 3 over 2x plus x raised to the power 4 over 2. Now, this is the total work done on the particle. Remember, the object accelerates from rest. If it accelerates from rest, it essentially implies that the initial kinetic energy is zero because the initial velocity is zero. In that case, we can conclude that the kinetic energy final will be equal to one half bracket three x plus x raised to the power four. And this is equal to 1 multiplied by 1, because the mass is 1, multiplied by v squared. The halves can brilliantly take care of themselves. And if that is true, we will be left with v squared equal to 3x plus x raised to the power 4. Now, this is the velocity of the particle as a function of position. If you are like me, you want to simplify things to its simplest form. That would mean that V is equal to the square root of 3x plus x raised to the power 4. Now, this is the expression for the velocity of the particle as a function of position. As a function of position. Now, if you have any question, please do not hesitate to ask in the discussion forum below. Thank you so much, and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.